Now let's multiply a binomial by a binomial. So let's consider 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. What I'm going to do is to treat the 2x plus 3 as a single factor. So I've shaded to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat 2x plus 3 if it is, as if it is the factor a. And I have a times x plus 2. By the distributive property, it would be a times x and a times 2. So I have the a, the 2x plus 3 times x, plus the 2x plus 3 times 2. So I'm treating 2x plus 3 as if it were one factor. 2x plus 3 times the x, 2x plus 3 times the 2. By the commutative property of multiplication, I can write 2x plus 3 times x as x times 2x plus 3. I can write 2x plus 3 times 2 as 2 times 2x plus 3. Applying the distributive property a second time, I have x times 2x plus x times 3. x times the 2x x times 3. Applying the distributive property a third time, I have 2 times 2x, 2 times 3. Performing the multiplication, I have x times 2x is 2x squared, x times 3 is 3x, 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 3 is 6. Now I can combine the like terms. 3x plus 4x is 7x. I get as my answer 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now if we examine what's happened, we can see a shortcut for multiplying a binomial by a binomial. This 2x squared comes from multiplying the two first terms together. 2x times x is 2x squared. So that comes from multiplying the two first terms together. I call that f, multiplying the two first terms together. The x times the 3 comes from multiplying the inside terms together. 3 times x would be the two inside terms. The 4x comes from multiplying the outside terms together. 2x times 2. And the 6 comes from multiplying the last terms together. So we have first, inside, outside, and last. Of course, F-I-O-L doesn't spell anything, but if I write it as F-O-I-L, we get FOIL, and with the FOIL method, we multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and the last, and it would give us the same thing, because if I had the 4x here and the 3x here, 4x plus 3x is still 7x.
look at another example. Let's multiply 4x minus 3 by 7x minus 1. So I have 4x minus 3 times 7x minus 1. I want to multiply the first terms together. 4x times 7x is going to be 28x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the outside. 4x times 1 is a negative 4x. So 4x times a negative 1 is a negative 4x. Then I'm going to multiply the inside. Negative 3 times 7x is a negative 21x. And finally I multiply the last. A negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. First, outside, inside, last. So I get 28x squared minus 25x plus 3. Let's look at another example. Let's expand 2x plus 3 quantity squared. The exponent 2 tells me to use the base 2x plus 3 as a factor two times. So I can write 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. Now I'm multiplying a binomial by a binomial. Multiplying the first two terms together, I get 4x squared. Multiply the outside to get 6x. Multiply the inside to get 6x. Multiply the last to get 9. Multiply the first two terms together. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Multiply the outside terms together. 2x times 3 is 6x. Multiply the inside. 3 times 2x. Multiply the last. Now combine like terms. We get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Now it's time for you to make sure that you understand the concepts. I'm going to give you some exercises. Be sure to copy down all three problems and then stop the tape. Work the problems and restart the tape to check your answers. The first problem, 2x squared y times the quantity 6x squared subtract 3xy plus 7y squared. The second exercise, the quantity x minus 8 times the quantity 3x plus 5. The third one, the quantity x minus 4 squared. 